For as long as I can remember, my eyes and ears, my heart and soul, body and mind have been focused on the minute and seemingly insignificant, searching out some meaning. Some purpose or reason. Desperate seeking for sublime meaning in all things. None. I knew it meant I had failed, that my senses and fecundity were not tuned as they should be, and so the darkness crept in. If I look upon the shimmering river at the infinite complexity of its rippling surface, I can see the forces acting directly upon each other. No the waves can be understood through a series of interrelated algorithms. The display of numbers can further reveal the influences of the wind upon the surface, the history of the riverbed and the story of the earth and the air is told in these waves. Yet I am deaf to the tale of the land of the signs. At times I could find solace in the vision, relax in my own ignorance and stare into the smiling black face of truth. Appreciate the little knowledge I had and accept my place, bathe in the light of unknown knowledge without caring about the secrets hidden at its source. I could let my curiosities bounce over the waves, gently probing the depths, swim down to the bottom of our hidden rocks and submerged secrets, feel the edge of the shore, push back the waves and hear a thousand voices carried on its surface, pushed and pulled by the moon, heated by the sun, in an unending cycle. This brief respite would never last, and even in the midst of it, I knew the end was fast approaching. The darkness would pull me back into its crushing arms to once again consume me in genuine contradictions and confusion.